What if I told you one wrong line of code in Python could erase everything inside your file? But here's the crazy part. The same Python function that can destroy data can also make your programs powerful enough to read, write, and manage data like a real pro. And today, I'm going to show you how to use that power safely, smartly, and professionally. By the end of this video, you will not only know how to read and write files, you will actually understand how the pros do it. Stick around. I have got a few tricks that most Python tutorials never show you. Let's jump in. All right, before we dive into code, let's talk about why this actually matters. Everything your Python project interacts with from CSV data to logs to text files, it's all stored in files. Your automation scripts, AI models, even your Instagram bots, they all read and write data somewhere. So mastering files operations is like learning to talk to your computer's memory. So let's start with the most common task. That is, we will see how to read a whole file. Okay, so I will do here with open. So let me open a file and I will name it as example.txt. Okay, I have this example.txt in my folder, in the same working folder. And to open it in read mode, I'll have to write R. So R is nothing but read mode as file. I'll name the file, uh, I'll give an alias name to the file as file. Okay, and then I'll create a variable called content where I'll store the file content here. So for that, I'll call the file and I'll uh, call the read function here. Okay, so when you run this, Python opens the file, reads everything inside it and stores it in a variable called content. So this is a variable where the file content will be stored. So next, let us print the content and see the output here. Okay. So it's asking me for the kernel because it's the first time I'm running this code in the session. So if you see here, the output is hello world. This is a new line. Okay. So now let me go to the file that I have created here or I already have this created and this is the content. Hello world. This is a new line. So this is the same thing that gets printed here. But here's something most beginners don't realize. File.read loads the entire file into memory. If your file is just a few KBs, then fine. But if it's a 3 GB or long file, yeah, your computer is going to cry. So let's do it the smarter way. Now we'll read the file line by line. And we'll see how it works. Read the file line by line. Okay. And we'll do the same thing. We'll first open the file the same way that we did here. So let me just copy this. Okay. I'll just copy this with open example.txt and then I'm opening it in read mode again. But here I will give a for loop here for line in file. So this is for reading the file line after line. I will do print line dot strip. Strip is an inbuilt function again. So strip function removes the new line character. Okay. So in this way, Python processes one line at a time and this is much more memory efficient. So if you run this, we'll get the same output, but efficient in memory. All right, reading is cool, but let's create something on our own. To write to a file, you just switch the mode to W. That is right. Okay. So we'll see that also the right example with open. And I'll give a new file name because I want to create something new here. So notes.txt is a new file here. And then I want to open this file in write mode as file. Okay. And then I'll write to this file, file.write, file.write. And let me just write hello Python. Okay. And I'll give a new line here. And then I want to write another line. So file dot write. And let me just write we are writing to a file. Okay. So we will run this and we'll see the output. You just made Python generate a file out of thin air. So let us just check that if we have that notes.txt here. Yes. So it's been created in the same working directory. Hello Python, we are writing to a file. Now, quick warning again. Every time you use W or the write mode, Python wipes the file clean before writing new data. Okay, so I'll show you that also. For example, this was our existing file. Or let me do this only. Okay, what I'll do is 
I'll copy this. So you already saw the content we have written here to the notes.txt that is hello python. We are writing to a file. So what I'll do here, I'll open the same notes.txt but this time instead of uh, python I'll just change the wordings here hello world and I'll mention something as this is a new line maybe. Okay. This is a new line. So this what will what it will do is the write mode will wipe the existing content. So when I run this when I execute this piece of code right. So we won't be able to see the same text anymore. This is going to overwrite the whole content or it will wipe off wipe out this content and it will write the new content that we are giving it from the code here. Let's check that. So now if you see it should be showing hello world this is a new line. So notes.txt you see here the magic. So if there is anything important in the file it's gone. That's why we have append mode. Append mode doesn't erase anything it adds new data at the end. So let's go ahead and see one example for that with open and I'll use the same example.txt example.txt and this time I will open the file in append mode that is a as file okay and then file dot write the same function guys no change in nothing just that without uh, instead of opening it in w or write mode I, I have opened this in append mode and then I'll pass it as append operation taking place okay so we'll see this the new line gets added right at the bottom so this is perfect for logging adding new entries or keeping a growing list of updates so let's check this out i'll run this i'll open the example.txt now you see here this is appended now it did not override the existing content so one new line at the bottom of the text file it just appended, appended this text I hope this is clear. So now we have seen uh, writing single lines uh, or we were writing one by one lines right to a file. We'll see writing a list of lines to a file. How do we uh, give input a list of uh, lines to a file here. Okay. So what I'll do again I'll open that with open. I'll open the file with open and uh, I'll call the same uh, example.txt example.txt i'm using the same file here uh, appending uh, the file the content of the file here i will be appending multiple lines here okay as file oh sorry my bad okay and uh, let us append a few lines but before that i'll be creating a list here so we will be passing the list of lines to this uh, example.txt so lines this is my list and I'll pass first line and then a new line and then second line another new line and then third line and another new line here. Okay, so this is the list that we created here and now file dot write lines okay you see this is already available this write lines uh, inbuilt function so here i'll pass the list and if we run this and see we should be getting these three lines three different lines we are passing the list but this will be printed or this will be captured in the file as three different lines here let's check the file now if you see here here is the first line here is the second line and here is the third line. So it got appended here because we did not give any new line before starting this first line, right? That's why it came out here. Okay. So I hope this is clear. Now let's see how do we write or create a binary file. Okay. So I'll create one variable data is equal to and uh, I'll denote it as B. B stands for binary here. And within single quotes, I'll pass something like hexadecimal values like 00 slash x01 slash x02. Okay. Similarly, slash slash x03. So this is my content of the binary file, guys. Now let's create a binary file and write this content. The content that is that we have given in data here will pass the same to the binary file. Okay. We'll use the same thing, write with open and I'll give example dot bin this time 
and I'll have to write my content, the data content here. So I'll use W mode, but because this is a binary file, it's WB, write binary, okay, as file. And then file dot write. I'll pass data here, okay. Okay, I forgot to give indentation and yeah, this is correct now. So let's execute this, okay. So our binary content, this one, whatever we passed in here has been written to example.bin file. Now let's go ahead and see how do we read this. So let me just copy this here and we'll see how do we read the file here, okay. So instead of WB, this time I'll write RR for read, RB for read binary, okay. So to see the content here, what I'll do is content is equal to file dot read so this will read the content of the file and the content will be stored here in this variable and let me just print the content just to check if the file was written correctly and we are reading it correctly okay so if you see the data here this is the binary content of the file getting displayed here now we'll see another example to read the content from a source file and write it to a destination text file okay so just copying a text file from one to other so if I show you, this is the example.txt. I have one other uh, destination file created, which is empty as of now. We'll see how we can copy the text from or the content from example.txt to destination.txt. Okay, so let's go ahead. With, again, I'll open the file example.txt, example.txt, and uh, I'll open it in read mode. Okay, the alias as file. And then content is equal to file dot read. So I have stored the content of the file in this um, content variable here. Okay. And now what I'll do, I'll open and I'll open the destination file here. Open destination file. Sorry, single quotes destination dot txt. And I'll open this in write mode because I want to copy the data here, right? As dest file okay and then what i'm going to do dest underscore file dot write and i'll pass content here so content is nothing but the text that we got from example.txt is stored here in this variable the same data or content is being passed here to the destination file with the write mode so let's let's execute and see if the content of this file example.txt gets copied to the destination.txt Okay, the code execution is done. Now, if we see the same thing, the exact content from example.txt has been copied to destination.txt. Now, there is one more amazing feature in this file handling that is WP. The W plus mode in Python is used to open a file both for reading and writing. If the file doesn't exist, it will be created. If the file exists, it, its content is truncated. That is, a file is overwritten. So writing and then reading a file, we'll see in the same, uh, like same operation. So we need not perform two different, uh, uh, what you say, we need not uh, open the file two different times, one for reading, one for writing. This can be done in a single go using the W plus operator. Okay. So let's open the file, the same one example.txt. And this time we will open it in uh, W plus mode. Okay. So this will read and write in the same time like in the same function same go as file then we'll write file dot write file dot write and we'll pass hello world and a new line okay again we'll write another line file dot write this is a new line okay so any guesses if this will write uh, like if this is going to append this content to the existing text so i'll show you the existing one this is the existing content of example.txt so when i execute this is this going to overwrite the file or is this going to append these two lines to the existing file just comment your thoughts here guys okay and then what i'll do i'll just execute okay let me write few more sentences we'll also read the content in the same uh, go okay so what I'll do is I'll write one more function file dot seek of zero. I'll show you the importance of this also. Let me just write this out. 
and content is equal to file dot read. I am reading the file now after I have written two lines. So print content. Okay. So I hope this is clear, guys. So I'll explain you the importance of file dot seek here. So let me just execute this and I'll show you the output here. So as of now, this is the text or content in the example.txt. We'll see what happens when I execute this. So if you see here, hello world, this is a new line. So what it is doing is this is overwriting the existing content. So if you open this up, you just see these two lines. Rest of things are gone. It's truncated. Okay. So now we'll see the importance of the seek. So seek is nothing but it will take the cursor to the initial or starting position of the file. So this is the starting position. It will print everything from the starting. In case I change this to suppose 11, what it will do is it will move the cursor to the 11th character and from there onwards it will read the file. Okay. If you see this, it's printing. This is a new line. So it is excluding first 10 characters and it, it's print. It's starting reading the file from the 11th character onwards. So this is what the importance of seek is. So when we are reading and writing the file in the same uh, method, we are supposed to reset the cursor to the beginning of the file so that we do not miss out any uh, content of the uh, file. We should be always reading the file content from the beginning. Or if there is a requirement just to read a few lines or starting from a particular index, we can use this seek and we can pass the required index here. Okay. Now you have seen me use with open everywhere and that's not just a fancy style choice it's the safest way to handle files in python normally you would have to close the file using file.close but the with block automatically handles that even if an error occurs and there you go you have officially mastered file operations in python you now know how to read write and append files safely and you understand why with open is the pro move if you have made it till here Comment below file master so I can know you are part of the smart crowd and don't go anywhere. In the next video, we are taking this to the next level. Smash that like button, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy coding.